probably got about 30 minutes to get this done, so we're gonna try to move quickly. But hey guys, welcome back. Now, this will be my first like sit down and talk video with y'all. And if I'm being honest, I've been wanting to do videos like this for a while. But as you can see, it's really difficult for me to find the time and the space to just sit down and talk and y'all be able to actually listen in because there's always something going on. It's always noise somewhere in this house. But hey, how y'all doing? So, so yeah, this will be a get ready with me. I'm not going anywhere special today, but I actually do have a lot of content to film. And so with that being said, I thought it would be appropriate to do this get ready with me and kind of chit chat and talk with y'all about my kind of chit chat and talk with y'all about my journey so far as a content creator. Um, I don't consider myself an influencer because I, I'm not trying to necessarily influence anybody, but I do truly enjoy creating content and like showcasing the things that I love and that I'm passionate about. Oh, uh, hold on. Let me, let me be professional real quick. I have a new wig from Unice here. Y'all, I love their packaging. It's, it's always so freaking cute. Today it matches my nails. This is a different wig. It's colored. Um, I haven't had a colored wig in a while. This is their packaging. I have already opened it and checked it out. This is a um, highlighted ombre wig. It's a 13 by four lace. I do not know the length. Um, if I find out, I will just leave it in the description box or put it somewhere on the screen. You guys did send me this wig to try, um, but they didn't tell me how long it was. Okay. All right, so here's the wig straight out the box. And I'll show y'all what's in the box. They pretty much send the same thing in every box. This is like my my third video, my third wig from them. And you know, so far the packaging has been pretty consistent and the same. Except this time I did notice they sent me this really cute compact mirror. And I freaking love it. It's so cute. Look, look, it says you nice on the front. And then boop. How freaking cute is that? And our uh, yeah. Wig cap. I am gonna use their wig cap today. I'm, because it's a frontal wig, I'm gonna try and do a the ball cap method. And again, everything else that they pretty much send that I've shown y'all in every other video. The elastic band, more wig caps, lashes, and this is a little brush to help tint the lace. A makeup brush you could use it for makeup but I assume they put it in here to help with the um the lace but let's go ahead and get into the wig this is the wig this is the color you see it has highlights and the roots are kind of dark so that's why I say it's ombre with highlights and it's straight. Let me take all this extra stuff off. All right, so here's the wig. Let me talk real quickly about it, you know. So you can see 13 by four lace, and it is HD lace. There are two combs in the front. There is a comb in the back. And there is an adjustable elastic band. And there's also adjustable straps. So I am going to, first of all, fix my hair so, <laughs> so it doesn't look a hot mess. But yeah, while, while I do that, let's go ahead and talk a little bit. I do want to explain a little bit what's going on with my hair because I don't need nobody trying to come for me, okay? I know my hair looks a hot mess right now. Um, a while ago, I would say maybe about a year. I don't know if it's been a year. Has it been a full year? But a while ago, I cut my hair. I had a pixie cut. I was rocking it for a while. Actually, not even a pixie cut. My I shaved all my hair off. Okay. I had a fade. And then I grew it out into a pixie cut. 
then I, I got another fade. And then I was like, eh, let me grow it back out. So I've been growing it back out. And this is where we're at. Uh, my hair was relaxed for a while. So you'll notice that the ends of my hair are straight. So I'm kind of transitioning. I haven't had a relaxer in a while because my I noticed my hair was like breaking off like real bad, like real bad. So I stopped getting the relaxers and I've just been growing it out and kind of letting it do what it do. For the most part, I could put my hair into a ponytail, but not all of it. So, so that's why I kind of just like when I wear wigs, I, you'll notice I just kind of like slick my hair back like as much as I can because that's the easiest way for me to get it to lay down on front of my wigs because if I try to do braids they'll be uneven and lumpy and then my wig will be uneven and lumpy <laughs> and that has happened before and then I put whatever will fit into the ponytail <laughs> now I am going to slick down my edges a little bit with some edge control and I'm using I think this one's kiss is this kiss no it's not it's this true edge edge control nothing special y'all i am not gonna lie almost all these edge controls out here they do the same thing and i'm gonna glob it on here because it's almost wash day so i'm not worried about having too much product so first off welcome like if you don't know i have been like making or trying to make content since i was in college since like 18 years old i'm 26 now by the way and so it has not been easy and lately i've been feeling really proud of myself for how far i've come and a lot of people will ask why well, not me but i know that a lot of people wanting to be influencers or content creators they always ask for advice but like the biggest advice that anybody can give you if you are willing to listen and you got to be willing to listen is that you have to be consistent and people, I'm, I know y'all get tired of hearing that, but it's the truth. You have to be consistent. You have to show people that you're willing to put in the work, okay? It's not enough to just say that you want to be a content creator. You got to, you got to prove it. You have to prove it. And not just to everybody, you got to prove it to yourself. And I have been proving it to myself. This is my, like, what, I would say my third YouTube channel. I started off doing makeup or trying to do makeup back when I was in college and I still love makeup but I just you know being that I have two kids now it hasn't been easy for me to like sit down and do extravagant makeup looks like I used to and so I kind of switched my focus to things that are easier for me to do and so that right now is fashion and hair because even if I don't get to do my makeup every day, I still get dressed and I still do my hair. So I switched my focus to that just because I don't want to feel like I've given up on my dreams, you know? I don't care what anybody tells you, it's okay to pivot. It's okay to change course. If something is not working, if something is a little bit too difficult for you, don't stress yourself out about it, okay? If you're trying to do something and it's not working, take a step back, reevaluate, figure out how to really make it work for you, okay? Don't be like, this isn't working, so I'm a failure. No, you are not a failure. You simply need to rethink, replan, pivot do something else figure out another way to make it work you feel me and so that's what i've been doing lately but yeah that's been working for me and i am so happy and so proud of myself so I, this is my third youtube channel i started out doing makeup and i still do makeup every now and then if i get the chance to do my makeup i'll take pictures but i don't really have the time to sit down and film and like edit them because if you do makeup you know that it takes a while and editing in itself takes even longer i'm using the wig cap that they gave me this is supposed to be a lot great for ball caps they're not like regular wig caps that you would get from the beauty supply store i have not tried these before so you know don't quote me on that but that's what I've heard. These are like thin and sheer. Oh, what was I saying? I, I'm sorry. I am not used to talking. I get so off topic. Um, especially when I got a lot going on. It's hard for me to concentrate on more than one thing at a time. So you all that are following me now, you may have noticed that I've been um, doing a lot of videos on wigs. And um, reviewing a lot of wigs. I have been wearing wigs since high school. Believe it or not. <laughs> since high school. 
Um, I used to be really natural when I was in high school. Not by choice, but I was. And before I got completely comfortable with wearing my natural hair, I used to wear a lot of wigs in high school. So that's kind of how I started that. This is not new and I'm not doing this like for clickbait or to make content or just to get attention or just, just to get free wigs. I, like I said, I've been wearing wigs for the longest, like wigs are my life. So I've been wearing wigs for the longest. This is not new. And my, how should I say it? My wig experience has gotten a lot better. And so for that, I am very proud of myself. Cause my wigs used to look janky. I'm talking Doja Cat wigs. Like, like there would be no lace and just a wig thrown on top of my head. But you know, we've come a long way. I've learned quite a bit and I've learned it all on my own. So I definitely should've got a blow dryer. But this is okay. We'll take our time today. I am very appreciative. And I wanna thank you guys so much because for the longest I have felt like what I'm doing is just like a waste of time and that, you know, nobody's gonna see this, nobody's gonna get it, and I'm not helping anybody. I'm just wasting my energy and my talents. And I was like, why did God give me all this talent? Nobody see it, <laughs> you know? But y'all are here, y'all are seeing it. And it's just proof that when you don't give up on yourself, your dreams really do come true. So today I do have some content to film. I have been doing a lot of collaborations with Amazon brands um, because lately that is what's most what's the word? beneficial for me. Cause like I mentioned, even though I love makeup, outfits in here are just easier content for me to make right now um, because I don't have to talk through that. Most of the time I don't have to explain anything. It's like you see it. All I gotta do is really show it to you. Either you like it or you don't. You feel me? But with makeup, it's 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 more instructional, and just putting words on the screen really is not enough to explain people how to do their makeup, especially if you know absolutely nothing about makeup. So, and I don't just want to put out content just to put out content. I want it to be informative. I want it to be helpful. I want it to be useful and more importantly, intentional. So that's why I took a break from doing makeup videos and content or whatever. I don't want to confuse anybody. I don't want to overwhelm anyone with makeup. I want people to be inspired by my makeup and feel like they can do it too. I don't know how I should cut it. Yeah, it's been so long since I've done the ball cap. I normally just like throw my wigs on, spray it a little bit, you know. Okay y'all, so I got it on here. I'm gonna put some makeup on it. I'm gonna use my um, NARS foundation. I know what you're thinking, an expensive foundation, you're gonna waste it on this. But listen, I have had this for a while and I honestly have not been using it. And this is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I probably used it maybe like twice. I really didn't like it that much. And this one is in the shade Bella. Bella. Now I'm going to put a little bit of makeup on the lace of this wig because as you can see, it's a little, it's a little ashy, okay? I'll show you what it looks like before I even do that. But this is the color, which I think. Anyway, and I'm using the same foundation I'm applying it to the lace okay and there's also a little bit of lace in the back of this wig it's not a 360 I believe they just put that there so in case you want to put it up it doesn't look weird 
but it doesn't go like all the way around you can see all right and I mentioned before I have a pretty small head so I am going to go ahead and tighten this wig I'm gonna tighten the adjustable straps and the elastic band I don't know if y'all noticed this um, from my wig videos, but I have a, like a very unique hairline that's kind of weird, but most wigs, when I get them, they don't match up with my hairline, and usually I just kind of like, I go with it, but I think I'm going to wear this wig for a while, so I wanted to <laughs> kind of mimic my natural hairline, like actually. And most hairlines on wigs are pretty round and I have a very like overly like pointed forehead so like all this hair right here actually needs to go okay I'm going for a no baby hair look today with this wig I might end up doing a little bit of baby hair but for the most part I want to try and make it look very much like my hair I think slicking the hair down before you secure it helps to make sure that it looks right. And that you are gluing it in the right places, you know? But yeah, now see, that is pretty much my hairline. If I pull this up, you'll see there's too much hair in the front. My hair doesn't dip like that, right? So all of this is going to need to go. That's pretty much where my hairline is. I'm gonna secure that with their elastic band. And I'm gonna let that dry. <sighs> you really wanna hold that tight, y'all. Okay. If you don't want your lace wrinkling or lifting or just looking any kind of way, you wanna hold it tight while it's drying, okay? Don't give it room to loosen up. Hold it tight. So far, I'm really liking this wig. I think it's gonna look bomb when I'm done. Like, really. I'm excited. Okay, so I think it's dry. I'm gonna be a little upset if it's not. I'm gonna cut it using a razor instead of the scissors. That is off. I am going to spray it again just to make sure that it's like all the way down. I gotta be quick about it because when the lace gets wet, if you're when you're using spray, it will start to lift. Okay, so you gotta quickly put the band on there so it doesn't start lifting. I like the way it looks on this side because this side is laid a little bit more.
So I think I'm gonna wear it parted to the side over here. I said I was gonna do no baby hair, but I'm gonna throw a little bit right here because naturally my edges right here are like really short and you can tell and stuff so and they they don't they don't go straight back they always go forward so just so that kind of looks like my hair that's what I'm gonna do I did very well. Now this side looks a little funny. That's why I parted it the way that I did. I, it's always one side looks better than the other. Okay, and today that's, that's this side. I'm gonna put this back on just to keep it from getting loose. Okay, so moving on to my favorite part. We're gonna go ahead and get into the makeup. So on a day-to-day -day basis when I wear makeup, it's completely different from when I know that I have content to film. I have to be very meticulous with the makeup that I choose for when I'm shooting content because it has to, it has to go with different settings, different lightings, different outfits, different hairstyles. So I typically will opt for more neutral colors. I don't do natural makeup because I do want it to look like I'm wearing makeup like i want to look more put together than usual so i will do what's considered a soft bead or soft glam that's what i'm doing today this is pretty much what i do every time i have to film something or take pictures so i don't prime and not because i don't think that primer is necessary i don't prime simply because i don't really have a primer at the moment but i do like to prime under my eyes this is something i've been doing a lot recently i use an eyeshadow primer i'm gonna use this one from urban decay it's the eyeshadow primer potion now before you start judging me okay until you have tried this don't come for me because i'm telling you right now this is the bee's knees so i'm gonna use a little bit of this and you know normally i would just like put the applicator directly on my face but lately I've been using brushes and like blending it in that way and like going with the whole less is more approach a little bit out of time and building my product up. It helps with preventing creasing and it also adds a little bit of extra coverage for my concealers. See, I'm putting that a little bit on this fluffy eyeshadow brush and I'm going in right where I get the creases. All right, so going with the whole less is more, like I said, I will then go in with um, concealer. I have not been using foundation. And I know some people consider it a trend, but I've been doing this for a while using concealer as foundation because I've kind of always felt like foundation is kind of extra when you can just use concealer for your whole face, like literally they're they're all the same they all do the same thing so i will use a full coverage concealer and you know if you've seen any of my other content la girl pro is my favorite it's the best they're cheap they're like 
think they're like four dollars a pop now it's been a while since i bought one anyway so i'm going in with my la la girl pro concealer and this one is in the shade beautiful bronze it's the closest one to my overall face complexion beautiful bronze all right and it is linked on my amazon storefront all of these products that i use on my face are linked on my amazon storefront if y'all want to try any of them anyway i will go with a small fluffy brush this is actually an eyeshadow brush but it has to be fluffy okay small and fluffy and i'm gonna use that to basically spot conceal all of my dark spots and little imperfections you see how that just went away right so i'm gonna do that all over and i'm not using a lot i'm using a little bit at a time because like i said this is a full coverage concealer and i still want my skin to look like skin okay so a little bit at a time so if it's too much i will you know spread it out and then go back and blend that way i'm not putting too much product in one spot and i'm basically going to do that for my whole face now right now you see that it looks a little spotchy it looks a little bit like like you can see like my skin where i didn't put product and where i do have product but when i'm done i'm going with a big fluffy brush and blend everything out and you won't even see that okay and i pretty much don't put anything on my forehead because i don't really i don't really get acne on my forehead or any sort of discoloration so i pretty much just leave that alone but now i'm gonna go in and conceal underneath my eyes all right i got a little bit of a five o'clock shadow going on let me get that all right so like i said before i'm gonna go ahead and go in with a big old fluffy brush and sort of just blend everything together all right so next thing i'll do is i'm gonna highlight i'm really liking this one the maybelline new york i think it's a maybelline fit me from the maybelline fit me collection and um this one is in the shade 40. does it have a name caramel oh and again i'm using brushes i'm not going to put it directly on my face because i'm definitely going for less is more because i like to highlight up under my brows first basically outlining them if you have difficulty getting your eyebrows to cooperate then i highly recommend it. just shave it off okay girl it will grow back trust me because mine keeps growing back and it's kind of irritating me it's nothing to try it your eyebrows will definitely grow back oh and then this is important as well whenever i blend my highlight because i usually put my highlight exactly where i need it to go so whenever i blend my highlight i like to use a stiff eyeshadow blending brush so it's small it's stiff and angled okay so like it's not like super fluffy like this one so you can see how this one's like really fluffy this one is not it's like very dense and so that's what you want to make sure that the product doesn't move around too much so yeah i want to keep my highlight exactly where i put it at i don't need to go in anywhere else keep it exactly where i put it at. all right and now i'm going to go in and highlight the rest of my face yeah just a little bit just a little bit and what I've really been marking with my highlight underneath my eyes is I take it into my tear duct, the inner corner. It really like snatches my nose. And then when my nose just my nose is snatched, my entire face is snatched. Okay. So that's what I've been doing lately. And I like to focus it. Focus it right here and then blend it outward. And do you see the difference in this side? how snatched it looks versus this side okay and remember less is more you can always add more but you cannot take it away unless you want to just like start all the way over okay so less is more start out with a little bit and then add more if you need to The nose part is always so hard for me because I suck at drawing straight lines. I'm 
All right, now back in with my fluffy brush, I'm going to blend out all of that. The highlight just so it looks seamless, right? All right, and that's pretty much done. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and set that with some translucent shedding powder. And I'm using the Laura Mercier setting powder and I'm using a powder puff. Okay, get you one. I have some clean ones somewhere, don't come for me. Yes, you should use a clean one, but I don't feel like looking and digging and trying to figure out where I put the clean ones at. I'm just gonna use this one because it's pretty. And again, I like to focus on my inner corner and making sure it's snatched because when that's snatched, the rest of my face is snatched. You see what I mean? Like without even doing the rest of the face. Okay, now I'm gonna set the rest of my under eye. And I know you're probably more, probably wondering when I'm gonna get to the brows. I've been doing my brows last lately, um, simply because I noticed that my brows didn't get messed up um, if I do them first and I'm tired of having to go back and redo them. <laughs> so I'm just saving the brows for last. All right. And then for the rest of my face, I am gonna set the rest of my face even though I didn't put on that much makeup, but I'm gonna set it using the Laura Mercier medium deep setting powder and this one is almost the same color as my complexion so i'm going to use my same fluffy brush okay and just a little bit tap 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 not too much okay and i'm going to just press that into the rest of my face even the parts where i didn't put makeup i'm still going to do it just to make it make sure everything blends together and now really there's just a few more steps left i'm going to contour I'm gonna contour I don't have a contour palette because my son broke it so I'm using what I got and this 30 morphe 35 OM palette is great truthfully you could use one eyeshadow palette to do your whole face because honestly a powder is a powder they pretty much all do the same thing some may be slightly better than others but for the most part y'all they all do the same thing but this 30 Morphe 35OM palette is all neutrals and matte. I'm using the second to darkest shade in here. It's this dark brown right here. And I'm going to use that to contour. I like using an angled brush to contour because truthfully, I just like to get into the hollows and then blend out. Okay. I don't do too much like carving or chiseling. I like to get into the hollows of my cheeks. You see what my fingers are. And then I'll blend it out. And yeah, that's pretty much good enough. And I don't like how long my chin is, so I'll usually contour like my chin and like over contour my chin uh, to try to make it look shorter than what it actually is. And I don't contour my forehead. I just don't, okay? I don't see a reason to. All right, and for bronzer, again, my son broke my palette, okay, for bronzer. He has actually broken a lot of my palette. Yeah, so I don't have a bronzer or contour palette because my son sees my makeup and he just thinks it's something fun to play with. And he will drop it and throw it on the floor like it's freaking football. So, using what I have, um, I have this Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette. It's the Amrezy palette. And I like to use, this is actually the perfect shade. This is one of the reasons why I, I haven't bought a new bronzer palette because I think this shade right here, this shade right here is my perfect bronzer shade. And if I can find this in a in a this shade in a bronzer, then I'll buy it. But I haven't seen one. Oh, and it's all dirty. But it's the shade 1988. All right, another fluffy angled brush, similar to the one I have for my contour. And I do like for my makeup to be very bronzy. Like I don't like to be heavily contoured. But I do like to be bronze, okay? I like to look sun kissed. So I go a little heavy with a bronzer. And I'm also going to use the same shade to sort of contour my nose. 
not really contour i don't like the contour of my nose i think shadow of my nose just looks weird and out of place but i am going to use the bronzer uh, around my nose to make it more defined and just make it look more bronzy you know but i'm going to do that with a small fluffy blending brush this one i think this is the one i use to um bronze my nose because it's like angled and it's fluffy i mean it's Kitty and it's fluffy, okay? Not too much though. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's it. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with the other one and get just a little bit and kind of like bronze my eyelid. All right, and now I'm going to go ahead and dust off this excess powder. And I haven't yet decided if I'm going to wear lashes today. I think I'm going to skip on, pass on the lashes, because I don't really feel like dealing with lashes today. I need to do blush. I need to do blush. So I've really been enjoying wearing blush lately. And this palette is broken, but it's my favorite blush palette at the moment. My son dropped it. Yeah, that's what happened. My son dropped it. Okay. Um, this one is from Beauty Treats. It's another like drugstore brand. Um, I believe you can probably find them at like the Dollar Tree or the Dollar Store. But I like using this like really peachy, like coral blush right here. And I have been going heavy with the blush lately. I love it. I feel like it just gives me such a like girly vibe, you know. And before I would do my makeup and I would take my blush like all the way up here. But lately, when I say lately, I mean like this week. <laughs> lately, I've been just putting it on the apples of my cheeks, like in the middle of my face. And, it, and it's really giving me like this like very youthful glow. And I love it. So that's what we're doing. And to highlight, I have a highlight palette and I love it. But um, back again to this Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I'm gonna take the shade Anastasia. I've been loving this shade. It's like the perfect rose gold. This one right here. It's a foil shade, and I love it. It goes great for my skin tone. Again, if I can find a highlighter similar to this, I'll buy it. But I have yet to find anything that works as good as this, so I'm sticking with what works. I'm gonna highlight my nose. And I'm going to highlight my cheeks a little bit. And I've been very particular with my cheek highlight. And I'll show y'all in a minute what I mean. That's still my favorite part. Remember when being a glazed donut was it? Like, if your highlight was popping, you was that girl. And it just crushed my spirit when people try to, like say the highlight was too much and it was extra for who highlight is the best part so now i used to highlight like my whole like cheekbone but my face structure has kind of changed a bit with me losing and gaining weight and losing and gaining weight <laughs> within the past few years so um my face structure is a little bit different so now i will highlight up here like near my near my eye like the highest point of my cheekbone right right going into my eye And then instead of me like bringing it all the way down, I'm gonna highlight right here where my cheek is like plump and juicy. As you can see, I'm gonna highlight right there. And then I'll lightly blend it in together. Okay. I don't know how to explain that technique, but it's really been working for me and my face at the moment. So that's what I do. And I really like to focus it up here near my eyes. It really lifts up my face. And this is not the same brush that I use to bronze with. Okay, don't do not do that. This is a different brush. It's just, it's the exact same brush. This is the exact same brush. The F19. Yeah, they're the same brush, but they're not the same brush. Okay. Don't do that. All right, so now I'm going to do my brows. All right. And I have this brow pencil that I got from Amazon. Um, it's double-ended, but I used all of the skinny ends, so I'm getting my money's worth. 
I'm using the fat end now. There's actually a lot of product in this fat end, but I'm gonna be using it for a while. Since I highlighted under my brow already, it makes it really easy to just go in and fill in what I need to fill in. Now this is the brow that always gives me trouble. So I'm gonna take a deep breath and take my time. She cooperating today, that's what I'd like to see. All right, so for the most part, my face is done. I am going to go ahead and spray. And y'all know this spray setting spray has become really popular. It's a one size setting spray by Patrick Starr. When I saw him dip his face under that water, okay and then pat his face and it was nothing there i said well, you sold me okay so i got this one and i got it from amazon and it's freaking amazing once i spray my face and i let it set you're gonna see how freaking amazing my skin looks afterwards like right now i'm gonna, I'm gonna get up really close and let y'all see it looks a little cakey it looks a little dry i have a lot of powder so okay and also my skin is actually very textured but once i spray it it's gonna look like but I'll show y'all. Now, I do follow the instructions. The instructions say to shake it up well before using it. And then it says to spray in a circular motion 10 to 12 inches away from the face, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, getting my money, money's worth by following the instructions, All right? Look at my skin glowing. And actually, I love the way that it smells, too. And then what I like to do, and I do this with every setting spray, I'm going to pat that into my skin to help blend all the makeup together. All right, and I'm going to add some mascara and do my lips. And that's it. This, that's it, okay? And I know this took a while on this, mainly because I was talking, but normally I get this done in, like, 20 minutes. Um, this mascara is from Kiss. I don't think it has a name. Oh, Bold and Long Mascara. It's probably linked on my storefront. It's nothing special. Not to say that it's not a good mascara, but if you ask me, for the most part, all mascaras do the same thing. <laughs> it's a matter of how you use them. Okay? If you use them meticulously, then you'll get a great application. If you just throw it on, it's going to look trash. But I like to make sure I'm thoroughly separating my eyelashes and really brushing the product in no matter what mascara I'm using. That way I get the most benefit from it. My bad, y'all. I didn't realize that my audio had went out while I was recording. I'm still getting used to this new microphone, but pretty much my lip combo for every day is the NYX lip liner in the shade Cappuccino. And then I'll go in with the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie. And right on top of that in the center, I'll go in with a little bit of the NYX Lingerie Gloss in the shade Shy. I've really been loving this lip combo, but for the makeup portion, you guys, that's pretty much it. That's all I do for my makeup. Sometimes I'll add lashes, but today I chose not to. And of course, when I go ahead and take this elastic band off, there's that line of demarcation. So I'm going to go in and fix that using my bronzer and just, you know, blend that in with my hairline. And y'all, this wig looks so freaking good on me. I did initially plan to wear it straight, uh, but then I went to the bathroom and I started playing with it. And I was like, mm, let me see it curled. And y'all, look at it. <laughs> I know I said I was going to go straighten it, but I added a little curl. I was like, oh, let me see what it like curl. Like, I just did one. I was like... No, this hair looks so much better curled. Oh my goodness, y'all. <laughs> oh, I look like a princess. Literally. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Can't help but myself. So yeah, I curled it. It looks amazing. 
and this hair was like so easy to curl I actually curled it using my flat iron I did some flat iron curls real quick so simple it looks so freaking good I was kind of feeling the straight look but this hair looks so much better curled like it just makes the color look even more vibrant and beautiful. I feel like straight, it just, I feel it was okay, but curls. It looks more ginger and like honey-ish now. Before, the highlights were like very distinguished, but it looks, when it's curled, it just kind of like all blends together. I was really feeling myself after I curled this wig, as you can clearly see. But this is a great wig and the color looks amazing. I do have to say it's not beginner friendly. So if you're not used to installing wigs on your own or you don't have anyone that can install it for you, in that case, I would not recommend it. But, you know, if you're willing to take a chance on the color and the install, definitely try this wig out. It will be linked in the description box below. I want to thank you nice for sending me this lovely wig and I also want to thank you so much for allowing me to freely express myself throughout my content. I hope you all really enjoyed this video. I definitely had a lot of fun creating it. I'll try to make more videos like this in the future. If you love it, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or even suggestions, definitely leave them down in the comment section below and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you.